so that it, it doesn't feel like it's making contact. I just use this little guy and uh, oh, okay. got it under here and just lift it. I didn't even make a scratch or anything. But this car is extremely clean underneath. Uh, it's extremely dirty on the inside. And the engine bay is about typical. It's got 116,000 or so miles. He's got a special uh, deal on there. And um, it does start up and, and run though. Check the oil here. Oh. I haven't pulled it yet, so. Oh, starting back up again. I don't understand it. I think it's a safety feature for when you're sitting at a light or whatever. Let's check the oil, shall we? It's the first time I've done this, so you're gonna get the straight dope here. Yeah, good. What the hell's the indicator on here? Well, it's got oil. Oil smells fine. You can hear it though, it's running fine, it's nice and quiet. It is a hybrid. It's doing its own thing. I've got it on the jumpers because uh, uh, this, this gentleman passed away in March and um, it hasn't maintained a charge since then. Do you have a maintenance required light on? We'll check that in a minute. We got uh, 116, 316. You can see, uh, I think a quality detail, maybe $200, $250. And this thing would look uh, like new. I mean, it would look really nice. It's amazing what those guys can do. I mean, he's gonna earn his money. Windows work, both sides. Let's try the back. Yeah. This thing underneath is like extremely clean. It was kept in the garage. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Horn works. Looks like it's got uh, different sorts of Bluetooth and whatnot. And we got uh, batteries under the seat. It's better back here, but again, you're going to want to detail it. He had a dog, looks like. Lots of room back here. He's got his headrest, he's got mats. I think this is the plastic that goes back here somewhere, maybe on that side. There is a spare. Check it out. Oh, that's kind of cool. There is a spare. If you look underneath, you'll see. It's kind of unbelievable I don't clean it is under here. Look at it. <laughs> It's like brand new. I mean, it's very, very clean underneath. He kept it in his garage over here. So we'll take you for a ride here in a minute. And it's remarkable what we got underneath it here. Pretty nice. Ugh. Throw them out before I run you over. So these things, it needs a new uh, regular battery, not the drive battery, but the little battery under the seat because th this car switches back and forth between hybrid and, um, you know, the electric motor and the uh, and the gas motor. And if you don't, you gotta have a uh, good battery all the time. It is driving though, no problem here. motors on now you can hear it it's running on gas and it, I believe these switch between gas and electric brakes work I mean you're gonna want to check this baby over I mean this, the interior is just so dirty that it, it doesn't necessarily mean there's anything else wrong with it this guy was a car guy and the underside is gorgeous but it's driving it's driving fine Feels good. I'm gonna turn around up here. So, I, like I said, I'm not a real expert in how these things function, it, but it switches between the gas and the electric. 
because when we first started it, it wanted to just drive electric only, but you've got to get the battery charged up. It's sort of a catch-22 situation where you, um, the 12 volt battery that's in here needs to be juiced up and it's not going to be juiced up until we either charge it overnight or drive it. But it, um, seems to be fine. Going up in the driveway and all that stuff. Put it in reverse while oh, I'm on a hill. But it uh, seems good.